Hey folks, Dino Bob here. Uh, we're in Vembrae Park today. Uh, this is episode 12 for that park. Um, and today it's um, a predator from the Morrison, a Taurosaurus. The exhibit has a pair of them in it. The male is the brighter colored one. And uh, we're going to get started uh, near the uh, sauropod habitat. Uh, which we saw previously. You can see some of them hanging out there. And we're going to follow the path along toward where the Taurosaurus paddock is. You can see the river on the right. And uh, the walk comes down here. There's a little branch to the left to let our guests walk along the sauropod habitat. You're going to be seeing a lot of these buildings here. This one was recorded during the introduction of the guests having actual needs uh, and uh, they proved pretty challenging at first to meet so this, I put in a ton of these things to try and uh, satisfy them. Uh, anyway off to the right excuse me left is uh, where we're going. Uh, you can see the path continues to the right uh, so we come and pass this plinth and we're going to go up and uh, go under the arch in a bit uh, that path off to the right is a bypass, so guests don't necessarily have to go by the big uh, predators. And uh, there's one. Uh, I think you may have heard it call as we were moving up. Uh, this was also filmed during a period when the uh, video screens kept forgetting to reload. Uh, so you'll see them dark here um, for the Taurosaurus. That uh, down the path to the left is a gate that goes to the backstage now. Hopefully someday that will be where you will uh, be able to get on the safari ride into the sauropod paddock. Uh, rides are something the devs have wanted to put in for some time, but we don't have them anywhere near yet. So there's another cut back to the bypass, and we're going to go along through the uh, sort of pseudo canyon here. Uh, down to the main viewing area. Uh, more of that uh, keep the guests happy stuff. There's a little uh, area here where guests can come up near the glass uh, again and uh, look into the, the habitat. Oh, that's a behavior I haven't seen. Cool. Huh. Uh, the Taurosaurus is a megalosaurid. Uh, it's the uh, only one of that particular line of carniv carnivorous animals that are in the game. So we're going to trot on over here. You can see those bones there, the, the rib bones. Uh, and this is the Jurassic Bonehouse restaurant. Uh, obviously it's not functioning as a restaurant uh, in game because that's not something we've got yet. Um, <clears throat> It also acts as a viewing platform. You see stairs over there, and there's another set on the other side. So we're going to pop inside. And uh, you can already see there's something that shouldn't be there. That potted plant out in the middle. You make that go away. Poof! Go away. And uh, get back to looking at it. So since this is a house that specializes in uh, meat products, uh, we have meat a voice uh, on the wall for I guess to identify. They're not all in this zoo yet. Um, the doors on either side of this main staircase um, is the staff access to the kitchen area which would be low, uh, a little bit below ground there. We're going to take uh, a handicapped guest elevator up to the main dining area where you can watch the Taurosaurus dine um, while you dine. And uh, I can see I need to do some uh, vegetation moving uh, to make that uh, a little more visible uh, for the guests. Whoops. Um, and uh, so a little uh, look around in the building. Um, and then uh, we will uh, go uh, up and uh, uh, well, a little more viewing. Uh, <laughs> But the idea is we'll go up and uh, take a look at the aerial of the habitat right there. You've got a blood pumpkin up there for that one. We munch it out up, up top there. Um, so there's the aerial view of the exhibit. You get a good sense of it. There's a care building in the back. We're not going to tour that today. Um, 
and uh, the whole thing is kind of elevated toward the center so there's more visible area where guests can see the animals uh, and yet they still have places they can go and get completely out of sight so um, here's one down in that first viewing area down by their pool um, it's the male I think these uh, two animals are spending a lot of time not hanging out together um, she's up here by the blood pumpkin and just keeps gorging on that uh, and he hangs out by the, the meat pan and uh, gorges there uh, you can see her moving toward the edge of the exhibit here in this elevated section and this gives them a height where they could see the sauropods for a little bit of uh, visual enrichment I think you can see a couple of long necks up there above the tree line um, so uh, you know, I don't, you know, it doesn't have any real effect in game in terms of enriching the animals, uh, but uh, real animals was a little bit like uh, Disney's Wild Animal Park, uh, the Animal Kingdom. They have their lions on the savanna where they can survey the savannas. Um, anyway, uh, since this Torvosaurus is waking up, we'll hide in the bushes a little bit and hope he doesn't decide to eat us. Um, seems a little suspicious. And looking around and sniffing. Um, maybe we don't smell like something he wants to eat. Don't know. Yeah, uh, he's turning. Okay, cool. Now we're not going to be lunch today. And uh, we can come out of the bushes a little bit. And uh, I bet he's going off to hit the meat pan again. Uh, these guys seem to do a lot of eating and sleeping at least while I was recording uh, this uh, set of videos um, really a typical thing for a big predator uh, particularly in captivity when they don't have to traverse ground and find something to kill and eat so um, I guess that's uh, realistic for a zoo Anyway, um, the next part of the, see, he's lying down again. The next part of uh, Vembrae Park uh, will probably be a new expansion out past this area in Larson, so we'll still be in North America. And here, here he is, having slept in another part of the park and getting up again. And this time he seems more interested in us. And looking right at us. Uh, roar. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, don't get eaten by our dinosaurs, please. And uh, if you like the video, uh, you know, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And, uh, you know, leave a comment. We don't get a lot of comments here on the channel. It would be nice to have some more. Uh, it would help me have a better idea of what you guys might want to see. This is Dino Bob. You all take care of each other out there. Uh, be kind, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye now.